Hi there, signs of Scorpio. This is Kim. This is take two. Trying to do your next 48 hour reading for um, the week. Trying to get some Palo Santo lit. Clear the energies. Be nice if we can call in the Violet Flame for our uh, message today. So, reaching out to Saint Germain and Archangel Zadkiel. Ooh, for these messages, right? Okay. <clears throat> and I do it the same way as I do the divine white light. We just kind of imagine it going through your chakra. It's coming in through the top, grounding. You can just imagine it just going up and down, but like a flame. Okay, messages, please, for Scorpio from the Wisdom of the Oracle. Blessed. <laughs> and there's two cats in the background. I have blessed and I have the fates. Kittens, that's why they're. So, 22. You are blessed and there's something that is fated for you that is like the uh, Wheel of Fortune, the fates. It's like destined for you to, to receive this blessed energy. I don't know how else to say it. 22 associates in the Kipper deck the official person card or the uh, like powerful person, official person, kind of emperor energy it feels like too. Uh, just because of the number. because And it's also like the master builder, the master archetype, the master number 22. Okay, and I have to be fair, and it's somebody um, balancing on scales. Hmm. On this card, she's balancing a cookie or a fortune cookie that's basically like, nope, not for you. And then on the other side, a uh, pearl. And then representing wisdom is the owl on top of the head. To be fair, justice energy, maybe. Partnerships, maybe relationships, marriages, contracts, agreements. Some things could be in the process of being mending at this time or mending these things. Or agreeing to disagree, agreeing enough to have a conflict resolution. Mending. Five, a five and a two. It's a spiritual spiritual challenge of some sort but also great promise for spiritual growth if something can be resolute okay the 29 breathe it's nice I have to remind myself to just breathe sometimes breathe focus on your breath breath It's about how to how to manage uh, I'm picking up like how to manage your stress or best to best manage your stress make sure you're doing um, could be just doing breathing exercises two 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 now yen energy which is one of a uh, divine feminine it's about receiving And the fork in the road because some of you all are um will have the idea of mending and forgiveness and um disconnecting breaking ties accords with a certain situation that's a that was like a long-term contract and then deciding where to go some of you are trying to mend that with somebody else and that's working out for you too just depends on what your story is or what you're wanting too you have a llama with with uh, antlers. <laughs> you have a, what looks to be like a snow, maybe it's a barn owl. Looks like a cross between it and then a monkey standing on top of the signs that point in different directions. These look like two little fairies trying to mend things. 
with uh, they're they're mending flags for a celebration of some sort, sitting on a spool of thread. That's cute. So it's almost like relax and breathe to receive with this yin. Relax, breathe in the air and think of how abundant you are by the amount of air you're able to receive in that moment. And just focus on receiving that small, but yet very uh, life-sustaining abundance in that moment. Oh, this will truly get you prepared to receive a lot more and you are blessed, so. I was about to say, I think it has to do with building and look, we get a very masculine energy, which is cool because the two and the two is four, which is like I said, like the emperor like energy of building, I'm getting that off of that. Like you're blessed because somebody is building in a very like boss way. And that would be Aries, that would be a masculine sign. And then this one might be is well no it's most definitely representing a masculine energy you have the yin and the yang out here you're so balanced <laughs> this is the action to take you have both <laughs> so breathe and think of the abundance to receive think think of the air as the abundance you don't have to overthink what abundance means to you at all Wow, this is pretty amazing. I don't know if I've ever done a reading where they've actually just both came out. So Scorpio, yeah, that's, that's kind of exciting. Let's get one for the to be fair. It's time to go. <laughs> as the, as the uh, kittens run around. There's a deep knowing about this, though. There's already very deep knowing that you have about what is transpiring right now. You, you already know that it's time to go. You, These little fairies could be mending something that's literally like celebrating or congratulating you on your way to your next thing. Maybe it was the mending that got you some sort of blessing <laughs> that took that put you in a different direction somehow or towards this direction maybe uh, more fast wow yeah i don't i really truly don't think i've ever seen these two together i don't know if this is um it's energies right <clears throat> Big reading. It's a big reading. Uh, I think I'm going to use this Kipper deck since I already feel kind of drawn to it. We have gift 17, 18, 17, 18, ascending. So you have that, that act of something having a judgment call, there being a judgment call made um, to people in its best is if two people uh, in front of a judge, justice energy. So it could be mending something uh, outside of court or having something that's actually not bad. Bad health in the reverse is not bad. <clears throat> having someone else help or judge a, a situation. High honor. The official person. I thought that would come out. I thought that would come out. 
official person mending thief and high honor in the reverse somebody that lost respect for someone else because of some kind of strong desire to take something from the other um maybe it's mending that that this energy is the math like professional um powerful friend somebody that might be helping with a blessing to mend a situation where like I said, it's like somebody was trying to go through great lengths to take something from you. I'm going to put that like that. Could have to do with a child, an actual child, or it could have to do with... Well, there we go with the bad health in the reverse. Twenty-seven. So, with the unexpected income, it could be that there was financial issues or trouble, problems that uh, got resolved fairly quickly because of some kind of unexpected income, or they will. Okay. Time. I'm getting something with time. <laughs> well, not just that. The <laughs> working smarter, not harder. Not having to work as hard. Going, yeah. Not having, yeah, not having to work as hard. Energetically getting back everything that was stolen or taken from you. Could have even been in the form of something that created trauma for you to have to deal with and heal. And it might have been something that really wasn't yours to have to take. Like, it, there's some kind of balancing of that energy I'm picking up on. Coming to you, like, as a return. Good karma. Of action taking that is definitely going to lead to unexpected income, sudden wealth, 777, the jackpot, cha-ching, you won't have to work as hard, shouldn't have had to go through something that you had to go through. So get ready to receive. That's what I've got to say. So get ready to receive. Main female, divine feminine energy. It's really just saying to um, tap into that. And, and the main male, yin and yang. You even showed up. Oh, wow. I'm going to switch this 108 deck, Oracle deck. <coughs> So that we can get some more messages. I want to see what else is going on. It feels like the end of a, of a karmic pattern or cycle. It's being mended by your blessing. It's going to be mended by your blessing. You have an inner knowing. There's the owl again. See, is that a snow owl or is that a barn owl there? Oh, truth be told, in the reverse, somebody's not necessarily telling the whole truth about a situation. Well, that's not surprising. Could be in court or something do like that. Like, actually in court and you know somebody's not telling the truth. Or that this is about you have not spoke the truth on something quite yet. But will... Like, if given a chance, in a meaningful way. 
<clears throat> you don't also these two these two together could be that like you don't have to be told anything you um you have clear cognizance you have a clear um knowing you have a clear knowing might seem like you're aloof as you have the kittens running around and you pulled the cat card independence though too comes out but it says apathetic disinterested aloof my way or the highway unflappable uh, cool cat unaffected not my problem calm and cool that's what i'm picking up calm and cool calm and cool uncertain at this time the situation or outcome is undetermined because of some kind of judgment or ruling of some sort uh, I also have two, I feel like you've got some powerful energy, by the way, on your side. So when these come up in the upright, whatever judgment's going to be for what you're wanting, what you're wanting, your favor. Um, <clears throat> two, fun, freedom, high vibe, rising up, ascension, cheerful, a higher perspective, attaining goals, stress-free, independence. So you've got balloons and cat with the independence. Because you're so balanced. Biker. It's one of my favorite cards in this deck. Lone wolf style. <laughs> Impervious. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. <laughs> There's a song called Breaking the Law. Breaking the law. Not encouraging that. Just saying. Um, you also have this gentleness about you that is coming out with the olive branch. It's like um, there'd be something offered to another person or party to you. Hey, can we just like make peace here and cease fire? Yeah, and so there could be a ceasefire coming up. That might be something you can breathe well or rest rest assured about that um, some kind of fighting, arguing will stop. Uh, I have childhood, innocence, playful, growing, friendship, need of others to revisit the past, loving life, no worries. I like the no worries part too. And a mirror, very aware seeing clearly facing your issues <sighs> says also it could be about making comparisons so i'm going to try not to judge yourself harshly here if that's the case ah oh, and they have the wheel okay oh and it's the wheel of karma that's what i said something is uh Coming round, um, breaking almost like a pattern. It's time to go, trying to leave this circle, cycle. Your blessing is the fix. Your blessing is going to be the fix. <clears throat> Karma, Dharma, destined, inevitable, luck, fortune, rise and fall, the divine will, and blind justice. Person of air, or could be a, well, so that could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or like a lawyer, teacher, surgeon, journalist, or chef that says, chef, uh, eloquent, rational, upright, quick-witted, unemotional, controlling, sarcastic, cold, abrupt, critical, or calculated. Could be to help you make a decision here with this fork in the road. Okay, and I have a yes on that. And it is coming up here on yin. So, Yes. The situation is on track. You also have another forked road. Fork in the road. Interesting because they don't all come out as fork in the roads, right? This, this, these are only two decks that say fork in the road. Direction change, options, free will, choice, opportunity, multiple choice. Is somebody to help you make this decision? I've got a big astounding yes on that. Because at this time, 50-50, it could be a coin toss. Not really sure. There's Cancer Scorpio Pisces in the reverse, taking off the blinders because now you're seeing clearly. Uh, okay. All right. Let's see. What time are we going to... Yeah, okay. I think I'm going to wrap this up. Oh, wow. One, 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 I'm creative, and one, one, I'm intuitive. 11 and 111 well oh, and the sudden wealth is 11 if you need a private reading guys i have private readings available i thank you for the super tips that i get in the chat and uh like and subscribe are really good ways also to help the channel big change transformation 16 you have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths you have an ability to read into other people's feelings. 
a wisdom seeker and your angels ask that you share your knowledge for the benefit of others. 18, I'm kind-hearted. You're both open-minded and kind-hearted, wanting to leave the world better than you found it. Basically, I'm kind-hearted. 18, and then 12, I'm a visionary. Uh, your imagination is rich. Others can benefit from it. It's uh, You're a visionary. You can come up with things. You see things before they happen. Oh, my goodness. And then I got four and four for four. Really awesome energies. Violet Flame did as well. Thank you all for working with us. Four, you bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock, and your hard work and perseverance make you a dependable friend, partner, and colleague. I'm stable. And 444, four, four, trust your journey. Trust the way your life unfolds here, Scorpio. Trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment. And no, I am protected. These are our affirmations. I am a visionary. I am perceptive. I am protected. I am stable. And I am kind-hearted. And that's what I've got for you. I'm sending you lots of love. Bye.